This week on The Itch, Justin and Spencer talk about the video games that have released this week. Death Threats. Oh dear God. MMO News Showdown between Blizzard and Square Enix. And being a gamer could win you one million dollars. And their top story of this week is Hatred, the Blood of Blood. And this is The Itch, where we talk about video game releases, video game news, all that good stuff. Yeah, sure. We do that. You have a good week? Huh? I mean, I might be having a free time. It might be my birthday. What are you trying to say? It's is that it's his birthday this week? Happy <laughs> birthday, bro. Ah, thank you. Yeah, happy yeah. birthday, dude. Turn in a fresh 21. Just straight out the gate, you can drink now. Yeah. What is this fireball? <laughs> I want to have it. Yeah, we're having a pretty sweet week. We got some, a lot of releases. We got some news, if you would believe it. <laughs> and it's new. It's new news. Relatively. Uh, we're going to start out with some Flash releases for these games. I just spout off the name of the game, and this guy says the first thing that comes to mind. <laughs> we're starting with PS4. <laughs> Here we go. Fluster Cluck. No said. Like, 29 of Metacritic. <laughs> 29 of Metacritic. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. It's a man. clusterfuck in its own sense. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> Battlefield 4 Premium Edition. Fuck it. Don't get it. All the DLC sucks. JK, only like two of them work. Okay, mixed reviews on that. Need for Speed Rivals Complete Edition. No, just get the bear game. <laughs> Fuck. Legend of Korra. Hmm. Is that set in that's Avatar? The, yeah, that's the Avatar uh, thing. I really wanted it to succeed. I was like, oh, please be on. Uh, no, 55. Oh. <laughs> 6.5 by users. Shit. The Walking Dead Season 2. It's about damn time. Just Dance 2015. I need, It's about damn time. Samurai Warriors 4. Don't care. <laughs> it's go to. Dynasty Warriors for Japanese people. It's it's I can't to. believe that whatever that there's is. a one, two, and three on that as well. I've actually played Samurai Warriors uh, Orochi. I don't know if that's based off the first one. Isn't that Dynasty Warriors? One? Like, yeah, it's, but it's Japanese. But or it's like they use Japanese people instead of like Chinese, like historic. Because everyone's been playing it for the historical accuracy. Dude, I do. Uh, Tori Hanzo is like, or not Hanzo, fucking ninja. What's his name? It's not Hanzo Gonzo. What's his fucking name? Hanzo Gonzo? <laughs> What's his name? From Naruto? No, no. Uh, he's just uh, Hanzo. He's like a historic ass like ninja. Well, Hattori Hanzo, I remember from Kill Bill. Was like, well, yeah, that. but this, he's ninja. <laughs> he's a ninja. And he's actually in it. It's like Japanese uh, figures of like war and stuff like that. Like uh, Nobunaga Oda and all that other shit. It's pretty fucking sick. Like it's actually a little bit more realistic. Hattori Hanzo. It is Satori Hanzo yep. as a ninja? That's the guy that uh, made the sword, Kill Bill. Okay, yeah, but, I mean, come on, it's Kill Bill. Really? The historic real Kill Bill, man. It's got, <laughs> what, Lou Bay or whatever his name is, doing fucking making you shit yourself with one little... Whatever, let's focus! Okay. Let's escape go to. Fucking escape this title. I don't know. Eight, uh, what did it get? To be decided. Who cares? Race the sun. Race out of here. 8.3. Shadow, <laughs> Shadow Warrior. No one saw this one coming. 8.6. Let's move on to Xbox One. <laughs> or 67. <laughs> Shit. Legend of Korra. 52. 6.6. 6. Fuck. Battlefield 4. <laughs> premium Edition. You already know what I'm going to say. Need for Speed Rivals. Complete Edition. Know what I'm going to say. Walking Dead Season 2. About damn time. Just Dance 2015. <laughs> About damn time. Fantastic. Er, no. Fantasia. Fantasia. Music Evolved. Connect, connect Required. Game. Fuck Connect games. I mean, Just Dance is a Connect game, so I mean, fuck it. Shadow, <laughs> Shadow Warrior. No one saw this coming. Eight point seven. Damn. Wait, what is Shadow Warrior? I don't fucking know. Fine. <laughs> Battlefield Four Premium Edition. For we're, the, we're on the PS3 now, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Battlefield Four. Race the Sun. Need Ra for Speed Rivals. The Voice. Oh. Is that God. after that show with the terrible people doing terrible things? Mm. Good. No. Yeah. What? That's where they like. They all turn around and stuff, and yeah, CeeLo yeah. Green's like, You sound amazing! <laughs> right? Your voice I is crazy! I just says that every time. I've never seen the show. <laughs> the voice, I want you. Oh. <laughs> F1 2014, that's a racing game? Yeah, but that's like Formula specific. One? Yeah. Ooh, I knew that. Legend I'm... of Korra. <laughs> just Dance 2015 and Samurai Warriors. Let's skip over to Xbox 360. Which has six day. Which has all the same shit. Let's skip that. <laughs> Wii U. I actually put Wii U in this one. <gasps> what the fuck? 
<laughs> okay, just do it. Because they have Bayonetta and Bayonetta 2. Obviously, Bayonetta 2 is the game that uh, is actually released, and Bayonetta comes with it, I believe. Yeah, it's just con um, contradicting reviews. Bayonetta gets a um, critics review of 84, but it gets a user review of 9.9, .9, which is great. Because I played it and I actually liked it. Then Bayonetta 2 gets a 91 by what's it called? And then it gets a 94 by users. Nine, yeah. What? Okay. I think everyone's a little confused, but other, either way, you, either way you look at it, really good scores for this game. I mean, yeah, I guess, but still. And then other crappy games came out for it, which happens on the Wii U. Uh, 3DS got Fantasy Life. Which, which I heard was actually really good. Yeah, I'm actually probably going to get that game. Oh, soon. it's going to itch your JRPG? Sort of. It's like, I love, well, I love Harvest Moon. Oh. And I love, you know, RPGs, so it seems like it's right up my alley. Now, there is a game that's kind of like it called Rune Factory. Yeah, I know. And I haven't liked the newer ones, but maybe this is more my style, because it is level five, and I love level five. Mm. So I will, I will definitely give that a shot. Pokemon Art Academy. Yeah. Uh, a bunch of crap. <laughs> God. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. That was a classic from the olden times. That was on uh, Xbox, I could have sworn. It was on Xbox 360, I think, as an arcade game. Yeah, that was a classic from back in the day. And back that's really it for the releases dark. I want to talk about. We're going to slip on over to some news. Wow. <laughs> what a blizzard. Maybe we got some sound effects for that. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, news. <laughs> We've got... Blizzard gives some free WoW time. Ugh, that was terrifying again. Welcome. Seven day... Um, I can't read without the screen going away. Seven <laughs> There's, uh, read. Blizzard's giving out a free seven day pass for people that have unsubscribed and 25% off of services like character transfers. Too bad I've never um, subscribed. All that kind of stuff. Too busy in my Final Fantasy days. No. Well, no. Like, good off <laughs> Good opportunity to catch back up. I know one of the people in this room really loves WoW, so I'm sure he's going to have some. I wonder where he is. <laughs> oh, yeah, Justin, just, just tell us. <laughs> tell us what's truly in your heart. I secretly want to go back to Orgamore. Orgamore? Orgamore? What is it? <laughs> Orgamore. Orgamore. Isn't it Orgamore? Orgamore. Whatever. See? It's impossible. But I love it so much, I just had like an aneurysm trying to say it. Yeah. <laughs> but if you want to go back so to Orgamore, you can for seven days. Just seven. seven. Day vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> There's going to be a PS4 patch coming up pretty soon. I think it's next week. Called Masamune. Or Masamune. Oh, it's about you know, you damn it time. It's a Japanese Masamune. Name. Masamune. Yeah. Which I know as the sword from Chrono Trigger. It's a sword in general. Historically. But it's also, sure. Isn't it also in Could Fantasy be. Star Online? It's in fucking one two? everything. <laughs> Isn't it like those, those giant, like... Uh, uh, the two-handed, uh, the double swords? Yes. It's one yeah, of those I swords think from lore. I think... Yeah, no, yeah, because I had the, uh, I never had that one. Wait, did I? No, yeah, you did. They're blue, right? Uh, depending on which version you got. Or they're they're blue or they're red, right? Uh, or I think I had green ones, because like it depends on what difficulty you found it in. Yeah, yeah, it'll yeah. change. Yeah. Well, the update's gonna have a lot of exciting things on it. Thank God. Really oh, that is definitely so fuck you can yes. Play music via USB. Not, okay. I'm not sure why that hasn't been in there. In the beginning, that seems like an you know, thing. you know, it's funny. I think the Xbox 360 could do it. No, it can't. Are you sure? Xbox 360 can do it. No, it can't. It, it can't. I'm agreeing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, because like, because uh, the it. biggest problem that I had, like, biggest problem I had is I wanted to get a lot of my songs that were on my iPod way back in the day, and then my iPhone as well, onto the Xbox 360. And I was like, you know, it didn't work, and I was like, fuck. Well, I mean, darn. And at the very least, let's try and play the music for from all it. those miners that are watching. <laughs> I know, right? Well, no, because he was like, he was portraying his childhood self. He would not say fuck. <laughs> You're right. His childhood well, self would say darn. I was in the military, so <laughs> I'd be like, cock, fucking shit! You know? <laughs> it has increased broadcasting tools. Thank God, I need that. New themes. Yes. It has share play. Share play means you can share games that you have with people that might not have it. Now, I'm not 100% on the specifics, but does that also mean single-player games? I think so. No, it's only multiplayer. Are you sure? Only multiplayer? Only multiplayer. Yeah, so oh. they could, because I'm thinking they can only play with you, and it's like a stream thing, mm -hmm. like sort of like how the PlayStation Now works. Mm -hmm. um, something to that effect, except you don't have to pay for it. Ah, you know. Right. So just the multiplayer games, but I mean, most games are multiplayer anyway. Except for those single-player Final Fantasy games for you losers. <laughs> wow. Anyway, really? adding, adding a, <laughs> they're adding a YouTube app. Which, Thank God. 
That's way overdue. Yeah, you think there'd be one? Is, is there not one in there right now? I, mean, no, I guess not no. because they're adding it. No, I think there was like a, an issue with Sony and YouTube. They clashed on something. And it was like Microsoft. Microsoft, um, the Xbox One, I think, had a, a YouTube app early and you could like upload to YouTube from there or something. I don't have an Xbox One, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, but they didn't do it for Sony. That's and weird. there was like some grit. They fought each other on that shit. Well, I'm glad they've made amends. Some more interesting news. Eight players can play on Smash Bros. Wii U with the correct setup. <laughs> it's up to eight. You could do five, six, seven if you want. It's fucking nuts. Yeah, like, yeah. If what? you hook up... Can I just do one? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> if you actually hook up two of the GameCube adapters, you can plug in four controllers on each God. and manage to play with eight people on one game. You want... Okay, we that's should a, totally that's do a, that's that one a time. Fluster cluck right there. Everyone needs to get trash <laughs> and play. I'm totally. Down. That's the only way because there's no skill at that point. It yeah. is luck of the draw. Put on all items. Let's get double bombs or it's whatever. Be a stick fest. <laughs> Everyone is gonna <laughs> die. Yeah. I think it's interesting that it works. And if you're first, like blood, like if you're killed first, take a shot, and then. Oh go from there that might be a drinking and game. then we so, have like two two stock life so someone's taking a shot like real quick because <laughs> everyone's gonna die so quick yeah you're all gonna matter. die it won't even matter like, so, everyone's gonna alcohol poison what do you need to actually do this so you need it's gonna come out with well, it, well the game won't come out with it but they're releasing gamecube adapters that you plug into the controller port first party. gamecube yeah yeah so you can use the gamecube controller to play yeah it's a throwback to the older games. Yeah, okay. because on, on a tournament level, like, they do want to appeal to a competitive audience. Again, that's why I took out some of the bullshit on Brawl. Brawl was not competitive. Um, yeah. So they're, they're going to come out with new GameCube controllers then? The same GameCube controllers, just more higher I think, quality. I think, I think it's the exact right. same controller. Just... Yeah, it's the exact same controller. Just probably different colors. Why wouldn't they sort of bring back, or why don't they start pushing their new controller that they started doing? It's for it's for the normal games. This one, it's not that one's not for a competitive game like uh, Super Smash Bros. Like that shit's huge anyway. Like you yeah. you played with the Wii U, right? Yeah, it's like the size of an Xbox 360 or <laughs> Xbox One controller. That's no, that shit's I'm huge. Just, oh, I'm detecting no, 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 a hint no, no. Of malice the the additional words, controller sir. you can purchase with the game. <laughs> oh, oh, you're talking about not the game pad. The one that has the the it has the triangle but or the what's called buttons, right? Yeah, they can like try it's your it. it's your classic controller, mm -hmm. look, right? Yeah. yeah. Why you can you can use, use that it. instead of you can use it, but some people I think they realize want to use the GameCube controller. Yeah, because from a competitive standpoint, people have grown up like Super Smash Bros. Melee still played competitively to this day, and <clears throat> people are used to the way that the controller handles. If you want to use a different like uh, controller, that's fine. Yeah, like, allow it. there's no problem with it, but they have an emphasis on the GameCube. Yeah, and so they're, bringing out, they're bringing out. I do agree that it's cool that they're letting you go back for the people who still use GameCube controllers. I just find it kind of weird that they would actually throw it back that far. Right, it is a little strange. Nintendo's... I'm going to say this, and I might get flack, but I just don't see Nintendo as the um, listen and we deliver kind of guy. I see that more in Valve, you know? I don't okay. see it as much in, in Nintendo because... If, I don't know if you guys know, um, Evo, not last year, the year before... Um, was the first time Super Smash Bros. came back, uh, Melee, came back in a very long time. I think Project M as well, the, the modded version. And, um, you know, on a tournament level, and there was money involved. And Nintendo actually had that uh, the stream taken down for copyright oh, yeah. and then brought it back up. So what Eric likes. <laughs> <laughs> Producer Eric. I, I brought, there. They brought it back up. Um, and like a lot of people were really mad at Nintendo, but guess what? It be, it was actually the the most watched um, tournament. Wow! On stream and stuff like that. There you I, go. I I don't think most competitors, but it was up there for being ten years old, or more than ten years old. It's a big deal. Carbine Studios has layoffs. Sixty employees were laid off. This is the company that makes WildStar. Damn. Uh, they're doing the same jargon that everyone kind of does. They say, we're restructuring the company. <laughs> we're changing what our priorities are. We're ruining 60 people's lives. <laughs> Clear as day. Hmm? I've, I've seen very few game companies actually care about you when they, they uh, lay you off. Like yeah. EA, believe it or not, is actually a big one that cares about you. Really? They help you find another job. I know Valve is good about it. Yeah. Like overly good. <clears throat> they're like, probably too good. Yeah, well, EA, sometimes they'll put you in another one of their subsidiaries. 
Oh. Like, oh, we'll hook you up in fucking with 2K or some shit or whatever. So that's a bummer. Our prayers go out to you, Carbine. Make that yay for people. Mm. <laughs> Connect has getting a PC adapter. No one cares. <laughs> Who? It, <clears throat> well, hopefully they care. Besides, <laughs> in this room, because you know we're uh, lucky enough to have Deucer have such a huge ass fucking area. Who, in their right mind, like, okay, so your old, your other computer room? Why would you put a connect in there and actually use the connect? Because I want to put holes in my wall. Yeah, <laughs> you just want to slam dance <laughs> and fucking wreck shit. Like, other than that. Well, you know, what, if what you I'm, care about the investment of your the, home, the the benefit of having a PC adapter, I was going to get to this, oh. is that the users can download the SDK 2.0 for free, which is this development kit. Yeah, so they can actually make development. Before I just on. go on this like rant, so you can't play shit on it. I I don't know. I, I don't know about all that stuff. Microsoft, heed my words. <laughs> Zoom in. <laughs> but I think that's fantastic that they're giving people the ability to actually develop for it for free. Well, thank God. Maybe they'll actually come up with some good games. Yeah, maybe. So this is actually a positive. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Halo Fest is uh, streaming what? Halo 5 multiplayer. No, bring that back. Hold on, what? Confuses fans. That is not a Wii U. It's what? the Wii U Pro controller. Yeah, it's, it's the Pro Oh, it is? I've got like yeah. three of them. Damn. Expensive? Are they expensive controllers? They're 50 bucks. 50, 50, 50 euros. It's still painful. When you got a family, you kind of got to do that. So, uh, streaming. Excuse me, I guess no, I don't I, have. I, I, one. <laughs> I was just wished into this that, world. That came out harsh. <laughs> Shit. What I meant to say was when people love you, that happens. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> this isn't working. Uh, you but, not <laughs> you better well, frown. Anyway, when, uh, back to the back to the stories though. For Halo Fest, they're streaming Halo Five multiplayer. No one loves me. Showing and they're also showing the first episode of Nightfall. This I will wish be it was fast. 8 p.m. <laughs> on November 10th. Fuck Nightfall. What's wrong with Nightfall? I think it's a stupid cash in. Did you guys watch the other one? Um, Halo. Uh, shit. The uh, other like, Breaking Dawn. No. It's something Dawn. Yeah. Forward unto Dawn. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I don't watch. I, I watched it and I was like. There was like what, like the last two episodes actually had like Master Chief in it. Oh, it's cool, neat. Uh, episodes? I thought it was like a movie. They released it I think periodically. There was a movie and a TV show. Oh, out. I see. I watched it on Netflix when it was a full. Oh yeah, movie. yeah. There you go. Yeah, um, but um, yeah. Like the last portion, the last clip. he shows up. Yeah, yeah. and uh, cool. But Halo doesn't necessarily need a, in my opinion, a like. It just needs a movie, if anything. It doesn't need all these like. Halo TV and all that stuff. Like, but isn't isn't this a fan fiction? Like, some like a fan made this. Is it? I don't think so. I think this is a. Con it's going to be a big show that always happens. <clears throat> on Please the check Halo for us, Deucer. The Halo Fest Network. Although I am happy for the Halo Five multiplayer. Hopefully, they get it better than Halo Four. Like, there, I had a lot of problems with Halo Four. Well, it's made by the same crappy studio. Well, three four three. They argue. Here's the thing that pisses me off. <clears throat> so when Destiny came out, they're like, oh, Bungie, all the good guys went to 343. Well, it doesn't show because Halo 4 multiplayer was terrible. And Bungie's not that bad at doing fucking multiplayer balancing. Yeah. No, like, yeah, Bungie, Bungie, it's very, very clear. That's all I'll say. It's very clear where Bungie left and 343 picked up. It's a, it, there's it's a distinction. Like Very clear. Fucking, I... <laughs> I like the assassinations and all that stuff. I mean, granted, that's fucking Bungie that made the assassinations in Reach and everything like that. I like that. I actually like Reach's campaign. I liked, I liked Halo 3. Everyone loves Halo 2. It's multiplayer the best, of course. But <clears throat> when you go to like Halo 4, it was just like they had too much variety. I, they wanted to go with the option of, hey, we have more options for you. Hey, you got Protean weapons, and now you have Covenant weapons, and now you have human weapons. That's great, but there's a clear distinction on which one is better for the first almost year before they did a, a real balance. What does it matter? Like, I wanted to use the light rifle so bad because I was like, oh, it's, it's got to be the shit. I'm going to be that weird guy, you know? But then you see, like, there's innate things about that weapon that no matter what it's not going to be better than say like the dmr because for instance people can see where you shot if you're using the light rifle 
And I haven't played Halo 4 multiplayer in a while, so if I'm a little outdated, excuse me. But I played it for a very long time when it first came out. So and basically, Halo Fest, you got a lot to prove coming out of this gate. I so hope. Good luck. I want them to fucking blow it out of the water, man. I'm actually pretty amazed over here looking at their awards and nominations for the show. And I was wrong. It's not a fan thing. It, it is 343 Studios, and they, they're trying to branch into... Or branch media and gaming together Fucking, with this okay. project. Um, but Defiance. <laughs> they won Best Drama Series, By Best who? Production Design. Who's saying this? Uh, third Streamy Awards. Well, you know what? You know what won the Best Drink Award from Spencer is this delicious black tea with peach. And you know what my wet dream trip? is? Monster. Gets you wet. That was... Not they also won team. best cinematography and best <laughs> editing. By what? Streamy? Yeah. You got to understand <clears throat> what else is getting streamed there at the streamies. What? You know what? That's crazy that Halo would win those kinds of awards. I don't know. I just don't see it. Yeah. That's I don't weird. see that. I mean, I, I, it's sad to be biased, but at the same time, when has it translated besides the infamous and amazing Mortal Kombat movie? And amazing. <laughs> Street Fighter. <laughs> Speaking of amazing, Metallica will be at BlizzCon. That's subjective. <laughs> I think they're great. Good. Congratulations, but I've never been a, been a Metallica band. fan. They've always been a good band. Not my favorite, but they've always been good. What, so you can glare at me? Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you going to BlizzCon, Eric? No. No. There was a huge thing from well, with my other show we were talking about actually doing it. but What's uh, your other show, Eric? Uh, right now it's on a hiatus, but it's just another wow show. What is that? Are you on like season, going to season two or season three? Basically it's kind of going into season two here. Um, <laughs> it works out. Yeah. It's fantastically magical, delicious popcorn. All that lucky charm shit. Yum. Right? Is that magically? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, don't judge me. Uh, oh, this is funny. Recently something kind of got blown out of proportion. There were some death threats made to Gabe Newell. He's, of course, the head guy in charge of Valve. And it was by, by association Steam. <laughs> by, by a guy named Mike Malbeck. He's the creator of Paranautical Activity. He was having some issues with his Steam account. With, 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 he, uh, I don't releasing know, something about game. selling it or yeah. releasing it or something like that. And, and I think, and personally, I think this is completely blown out of proportion. It's just ridiculous. But gamers are so sensitive these days. Mm. And he tweeted, I am going, <laughs> now this sounds so bad, but I am going to kill Game Newell. He is going to die. Quoted. That we was, don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't take us off Steam, Gabe. <laughs> obviously, I'm pretty sure he was kidding. But it didn't matter. He got taken off. His shit got taken off, off of uh, Steam. Yes. And they pretty much said, hey, we have nothing to do with this guy anymore. <laughs> Yeah. So and he pretty much quit the the gaming industry in a follow up tweet. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, he said I'm done with video games. <laughs> he says oh. it, it is like it hasn't been fun or something like that or whatever. And it's like damn dog. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think gamers, especially with you know the recent stuff that's going on, are so sensitive about everything these days. Everyone wants to be politically correct. I mean, granted, that's kind of not the thing to say. That's right. like, that's you're not going to find a, a, a CEO of EA being like, fuck it's, Sony. It's stupid to say, but I would venture that if this had happened two years ago, people wouldn't have cared so much. Or they would have stood up more for him, you think? Or, yeah, they would have been like, ah, it's a joke. But nowadays with gamer games, stuff like that going on, like, oh, what a terrible I, I thing to say. Everyone's taking it seriously. Anyway, uh, this is kind of interesting. UK is... Want, they're kind of pushing in their legal uh, enforcement stuff to increase prison terms for trolls. You believe that? Justice Damn. Justice Secretary Chris Grayling is doing a lot of the talking right now. He's saying right now there's a <laughs> nah, six-month nah, nah, sentence nah. for cyber harassment, <laughs> and they want it to be quadrupled. I don't even know how that works. Well, it's you multiply it by six. four. <laughs> well, no, I know, I know the math is behind it. I, I understand that. Thank you, producer Eric. I will remember that next time you say something. Like do that. sir. <laughs> what do I, what sir, I'm, do. Well, my big thing is, what do you, what do they mean by how do they, how are they bagging people for cyber harassment? Honestly speaking, I think it's like a really specific setup. Like you have to have like your person. Like okay, <clears throat> you're playing well. You're getting griefed by a guy over and over and over. Fuck right. Damn. Oh my god. What are you going to do? <laughs> Besides, like, huh? 
right click, it drop down, ignore. Oh my god, that no, sounds too great, logical. Okay, like P okay, no, I mean like <laughs> PvP. Like some dudes like constantly killing you. Would that that's considered a form of harassment if like a dude is obstructing your forward motion through the game. You're talking to the wrong person because that just means he's better than I am. <laughs> that's what okay, it should mean. Okay, all right. You Talk are to them, not you me. are me playing WoW, okay? I don't know where the fuck I am. I'm just a poor little... I wouldn't be Alliance. I'm a poor little blood elf running around. What the fuck is this? You know, whatever, right? I just want to be a din. And then some dude just fucks me up. Over and over and over and over. Taunt, 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 taunt. They've given so many tools to alleviate this problem. Exactly. There's when PvE does... servers where people can't do that. Yeah, but what if I still want to PvE... The point is, I'm still oh, stuck in PvP. the point is, you wanted to go and do that to other people. No, 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 no. I'm, <laughs> point is, dude, like, we're in a PvP server right now, but I'm not going to be running around killing people, you know? But but that's something we, I, that I, I mean, I, granted, I picked the server, but that's something that I chose to do. And, and if somebody wants to do that, well, that's part of the environment that I pick. Correct. At the end of the day, it's part of the environment, okay? And if some dude keeps killing me over and over and over, I, the, the best thing I could do is, like, be like, hey, this dude's, like, killed me, like, 30 times. I've had to ghost walk back to my body. Shit. Um, let me go ahead and let a moderator know. That's something that they handle. I would think that cyber harassment would truly be this guy is essentially doxing me to an extent. He's, like, he has my personal information. He's fucking blowing me up. He's sending, like, care packages to my, you know, house. And, oh, shit, what's in it? Oh, fucking styrofoam. You know, like, whatever. There's uh, actually uh, a guy, Swifty. Um, he's a pretty big streamer yeah, for yeah, World you of Warcraft. Him. Yeah, um, He was doing a live stream, and he ended up using Skype, and he ended up getting DDoS constantly. He was getting DDoS attacks all the time to where his he had to get his IP address changed. Damn. He had to go to Cox, get his IP address changed so that he could actually still stream. Obviously, it's how he makes his income. If he can't stream, he can't make money. Um, and to the point where they were attacking him so much, they would find his address and his personal information and then order like $100 worth of pizza and then have it sent to his house. And then he would have to sit there like, I didn't order this. You know, like, but, it was 100 bucks. Come on, you, the pizza's at your door. And it was just obnoxious to the point where that kind of harassment, yeah, that needs to be, that can't be... Uh, so they're, they're talking about then harassment that interferes with real life. Then. Mm -hmm. That makes more sense. Okay. That I can completely agree with. That I can see that, of... but I wouldn't see why that would... <sighs> to what, me, that months? doesn't sound like cyber harassment at that point. It seems like it's hard to triangulate. Yeah, I guess that, that... That's the biggest problem. Well, because... Let's see if we can find some specifics on what cyber harassment would actually... Yeah, yeah. That's... Yeah, because like, I, you know, based on what I'm thinking right now, I'm like kind of doesn't really like fill out because how are you supposed to know who exactly is attacking you in the first place mm -hmm. you know i mean what was it fox or msnbc thought 4chan was a person just you know a couple weeks ago <laughs> oh that was hilarious i love it <laughs> so apparently this we gotta 4chan, find this we gotta find this 4chan we will guy. find him <laughs> apparently he's fucking anonymous let's see man gets 30 months for cyber stalking what did he do Cyber stalking. He freaking cyber viewed stalking? the same web web pages you did. He was okay. right behind you. So that's not what I want to look at. Cyber, cyber stalking and cyber harassment laws, state laws. States have enacted cyber stalking and cyber harassment laws, or have laws that explicitly include electronic forms of communication within more traditional stalking or harassment laws. In addition, recent concerns about protecting minors from online bullying or harassment have led states to enact cyber bullying laws. This chart identifies state laws that include specific references to electronic communications. However, other state laws may still apply to those who are harassed, threatened, or bullied others who have threatened or bullied others online. Although specific language may make it easier to enforce in three months. Uh, cyber, nope. cyber harassment. Here we go. Cyber harassment differs from cyber stalking in that it may generally be defined as not involving a credible threat. Cyber harassment usually pertains to threatening or harassing email instant messages or to blog entries or websites de dedicated solely to tormenting an individual. Some states approach cyber harassment by including language address, electronic communications, and general harassment statutes, hmm. while huh. others have created standalone harassment statutes. So... I get what they're So it's saying. just like hate. Yeah. Just it's hate. like if you... It's like you have fan sites. Haters. And you, yeah, and you have like the hate sites. 
where people are like, oh, I hate J Robert Downey Jr. He's the biggest piece of shit ever. Those sites deserve to burn. <laughs> right there. But though. like <gasps> if someone dis it's basically if someone strongly disagrees with an opinion and if you have these super positive websites about how awesome this thing is, obviously on the other spectrum, you're going to have those super hate sites where they just hate it so much they have to vocalize it. But a website is my gripe. Like, okay, so I'm, I don't know if you guys know the guy with the glasses, the website. No. Uh -uh. No. Okay, so like Nostalgia Critic and all this other stuff. One of the guys on there um, is, fuck, I forgot his name. It's not Nostalgia Critic. It's the uh, um, Cinema Snob. And he's like, he's, he's like, his approach to comedy is the equivalent of Mitch Hedberg which if you guys know him, mm -hmm. yeah. he's just like quick one minute like stories, less than, right? Yeah. Same thing, he'll make fun of a movie, but he'll do it in a Mitch Hedberg kind of status. And I remember I was looking, I was on the guy with the glasses watching all his videos, and I remember I Googled a new video, and there was like, I hate, you know, Cinema Snob. And it was a whole website where this guy, he has like comments and stuff, no one comments. But this guy's just like, fuck, hate the, you know, him. Oh, he sounds like an idiot. Because he does, like, review, like, pornography. But he does it in the sense of, like, he makes fun of it because the stories are so terrible. And it's actually funny. And um, it's kind of like, he'll be like, oh, of course he turns to porn because he's a stupid virgin, like, bitch, and all this stuff. And I'm just like, damn. Like, really? A whole website. What's up with that, you know? Do you think that would fall That's under that? I, yeah, I uh, under this, like... yes, I agree that that would go under that. But I don't really... I, I mean, I'd be interested to see who gets affected by this. Exactly. I'd be interested. I mean, yeah. from what it sounds like, it sounds like a lot of people that are doing doxing or whatever oh, are, hey. most importantly, getting fucking... Arizona state laws on cyber harassment. Because we're in Arizona, if you don't know. <laughs> and there. our address is... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, lewd or prof direct any obscene, lewd or profane language, or suggest any lewd or oh, <laughs> I don't know that word. <laughs> lascivious act, lascivious, yeah, to the person in electronic communication. Threaten to inflict <laughs> harm. Otherwise disturb. Otherwise disturbed by repeating anonymous, unwanted, or unsolicited electronic communications, disturbing the peace, quiet, or right of privacy <laughs> to that person. Sorry. I love Ludacris. Yeah, <laughs> I know. That's kind of why I emphasize yeah. <laughs> well, Ludacris is also I enjoyed my favorite. <laughs> He's my no. favorite black rapper. <laughs> anyway, so that's some crazy stuff. I'm sure we'll anyway. see some interesting stories about that in the future. Yeah, Jade Raymond has left Ubisoft Toronto. She actually formed it with uh, one of her friends. Or, well, not, probably not a friend, but somebody else. Mm -hmm. And she worked on games like Watch Dogs and Splinter Cell Blacklist. So oh, my God. And I'm getting that shit. She, this weekend. She didn't this get weekend. fired. She wishes to pursue new opportunities. What okay. does that mean, though? New opportunities. I want to work for someone else that doesn't treat me like shit. Maybe she wants to be a painter. <laughs> well, like I mean, that's the thing. New opportunities in gaming? Probably not gaming. I would think. Sorry. Samsung White wins the League of Legends 2014 World Championship. <laughs> ah, it, the prize was $1 million. Huh? The one million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> the prize was one million dollars for that, and last year that tournament generated thirty-two million what? streaming views. Where am I? They haven't gotten the current views for this year. That's so great. Okay, how many how many views does a fighting game get? Thirty-two million. Huh? Thirty-two million. What? Thirty-two million. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. But I love the fact that it's a smaller community because it's it's easier to see the same faces. I'm just saying. And there isn't that much of a division between players that play at a higher level and lower level players. You can go up to fucking Daigo and be like, "Hey, Daigo, would you like to play?" Or well, in Japanese, of course. You know, freaking Onigashimasu. Toyota Tundra. And he'll be like, totally like. Yeah, sure, like, load it up, let's play. That's what I like. The most we get is, like, uh, I want to say we had, like, 80,000 or something to that effect for, uh, I forgot which finals. It was, like, it went to 100K, didn't it? Yeah. Whatever, yeah. regardless. I like that it's smaller at the end of the day because it feels more personal. Fair enough. So. Final Fantasy fourteen. Oh, has my God! Mansion coming out. God! Do you know Bio. when? I found a picture of Samsung White. 
Yeah. Oh, God. No. <laughs> that is stereotypical. Yeah. And of course they're crossing their arms. <laughs> I play computers. I'm too <laughs> cool. It's like, dude, come on. You play computers. Don't fucking act like you got the same people. Anyway, so <laughs> Final Fantasy XIV has an expansion coming out. Do you know when that's gonna hit? Uh, it's um pretty much fucking. What did they say? Spring 2015. Spring 2015. It's called Heaven's Ward. Oh my God! New jobs. Oh my God! New race. Whoop! New primal. Swag. Level cap goes to 60. The balancing. New environments. Oh, we flying. Yeah. Do you have any Somebody more to say? Is Oh, dude, a This ton. is your right. thing. All right, so check this out. New jobs. <laughs> right now, they're having, I believe, the um, the UK fan festival. Um, and pretty much they already agreed to two new jobs. They hinted at one, and they confirmed another. Um, and apparently, Yoshi P, who is the um, creative director of it, Yoshi P, game the funk's on me, Bobby. <laughs> Keep that funk alive. What, what? Anyway, he pretty much, when he was doing the American Fan Festival in uh, Vegas, he was wearing a Batman shirt. And he's like, I really like the Dark Knight. Hinting at the Dark Knight class um, being accessible. And the Dark Knight class uses a great sword, two-handed sword. And they're a tanking class that has a focus with magic. They're the first class to really have a tank with magic. Because uh, the the first two, the warrior and the paladin, paladin more so than the warrior, um, use um, a little bit of magic, but it's mainly about TP, technique points, and stuff. That's more uh, regenerative. So you played it, right? For like five I played, seconds. I played a, a good okay. hour, a yes. good hour of Final Fantasy fourteen. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. So, <laughs> so there's that, and then they just confirmed the gunner class is going to be shown, or that they're hinting at. Because Yoshi P was wearing a 007. He's like, I really like guns. <laughs> and it's like, oh, this is fucking talking about the gunner class. Duh. Uh, which, or I like the golden gun. And he has a 007 shirt on. So, of course, he's like fucking, yeah. Let's take a look at that gangstiness. Huge ass motherfucking sword. The so, one of the things that I was just reading now, it says that there's no prerequisites to be a Dark Knight. No. You just I have to have the sword. You just literally, it, there's no, um, it is not a job, it is a class. So jobs are, when you get to level 30, you can choose a job. You get level 15 in one class, level 30 in another class. And then, bam, I get a job. Fuck no! <laughs> class. It is a class. You need to go out and get a job. Pretty much. Uh, new <laughs> The new race, they've already hinted at, I keep forgetting the name of it, but the, oh, there's, just... it's looking like there's going to be a lot of them. It, it, it's, they look like they're from Tactics Advance too. Uh, a lot of the classes. New primals? Holy shit! They have an entirely new uh, uh, Guardian Force primal, whatever you want to call it. You know, like Ifrit and all that stuff. They're primals. Uh, Ravana is this, like, insect primal. He has, like, four arms with swords, and he looks like Odin, but with swords up the ass. He's fucking crazy. Level cap to 60, obviously. New environments. Heaven's Ward is up a little bit, so you have to use a black chocobo to get to it. So that's going to be your first flying mount in the game that you can use to, like... Sounds pretty exciting. And then they have different beast tribes who have their respective uh, guys. I can't think of the other primal's name, but uh, Ravana is the original primal, the one they created for Final Fantasy XIV. So it's going to be sick. Rock on. So yeah. when do you think this is coming out? Spring 2015. If I had to guess, because uh, they're, they're launching 2.4 Tuesday. And then uh, 2.45, I want to say, will be out before the year's end. I, or maybe at the beginning of next year, so in January. And then they have 2.5. And then 2.55. So I want to say June. Sounds like a real doozy. <laughs> so I'm excited. Sounds like I'll be playing in June. Yeah, man. Get that fucking Dark Knight going, son. Yeah. I want to see what, what they can do. Because Ninja's dropping. Um, yeah. Tuesday. And... Everyone's gonna Naruto man, I'm back with it. <laughs> Good for you. That's fine. But if we're if we need DPS, you better put that role playing aside and kill this motherfucker. Okay. I don't Rasen care. Gun. Yeah, right. Like don't <laughs> fucking call that shit. Everyone's gonna Every... do it, dude. It's gonna be on everyone's fucking macros in, yep. in the dialogue. The Sand Gun. Oh, you're original. Fuck you. No, you know? but shit, no, no, true, too. <laughs> yeah. Like, shut up, man. All right. Next up. Oh, my bad. <laughs> And now for our top story. Um, Do you ever feel mad? You ever feel some form of anger, perhaps hatred? Oh. 
Hatred uh, trailer has been released. Yeah. The game called Hatred. That's what it's called. And it is everything you would think a game called Hatred would be. Apparently you play as a dude that just decides to go on a massive killing spree, shooting men, women, children, right? Children too? In violent, depicting violent um, ways of execution, of brutalization, and yeah, all that other stuff. Pick up, taking a gun and shoving it in a girl's mouth and just and blowing it. it. Like, yeah. No the sin- violent, the... Indie I, developer. Right? Yeah, indie developer. I think the... Is now, it? obviously, there's free speech, so you can release any game you want. I defend the right to make the game. Personally, I'm not interested in it. I don't know if you are. Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> See, but so I, I've seen it when it first came out, and someone brought up a good point, which is no one really goes that the same route that people like Mortal Kombat did. I mean, okay, if you look at... The last person I can really think of that did it was like Dead Space 2. Mm-hmm. You remember that your mom's going to hate this game? Yeah. Little campaign that they did, which was kind of a stupid campaign uh, because there's no way of telling if those chicks were paid or not. But their, their little campaign for it was just like, you know, showing violent scenes and they're like, oh my God, you know, like flipping out and shit. Yeah. I'm conservative, <laughs> you know, or whatever the case is. Mitt Romney saved me. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, it was just a campaign. Now, this, you know, a, we're shock. It was a shocking, like, yeah, it's like, just generate publicity, negative or positive, doesn't matter. Just doesn't matter. They just generate talk. They want you to know about it. And believe it or not, one of my favorite games. I love Dead Space. It's in my top ten. Dead Space Two. Interesting. Over the first one, weird, but it is. Well, hatred has Jeff definitely generated some publicity. In its own negative, way. positive, not sure yet. More but negative, I feel. I would think it'd be negative, but the argument that has kind of brought brought to the forefront that I've seen is that. Uh, we play a game called Grand Theft Auto and love it. And we've celebrated it for over a decade now. Okay. Does hatred... I mean, what is the difference between hatred and Grand Theft Auto? Um, because they both have you running around a city. Yeah. And they both give you the freedom to do whatever you want to anybody. Including kill them, run them over with a car, shoot them with a gun, hit them with a knife. Anything like that. So the argument that's going out to the world right now is... What's the difference? Why is this worse than this? Or is what what is worse even mean? Well, see, and and it's easy to explain that. You can go grand through Grand Theft Auto, killing only who you have to, like for the story and all that mm-hmm. stuff, and it becomes no different from any other game. So what? It gives you the freedom to shoot people. You could do that in Fallout. You could do that in freaking uh, what's it called in uh, Skyrim. Mm-hmm. You can kill whoever you want. The difference here is the focal point. Focal point of hatred is, and it's in its namesake. To kill people. It, just, it doesn't matter. Just shoot people. It, the focal point in Grand Theft Auto is to experience a story that, that isn't just one-dimensional. Mm-hmm. And in that regard, this game forces you to do something by that technicality as opposed to Grand Theft Auto, which allows you to play the story your own way at your own leisure. If you go out and kill people, yeah, that is an option that you can do. But do they focus on that? Do they... like? go like, hey, we have these crazy executions for how you can kill people and all that other stuff. No, not really. Well, and even then, there's nothing wrong with executions. I mean, like, Assassin's Creed does all that stuff. All these games do that stuff. But the point of the game, that's not the point of the game. When you play these games, especially Grand Theft Auto, I hate the comparison to Grand Theft Auto. Because I hate it, yeah. Grand Theft Auto has a massive story with you know, intrigue in it, and it talks about... Uh, interesting characters? It, talked, it has like things to say thematically about the culture that we live in. Mm-hmm. Um, most importantly, the most recent one. Yeah. Complete satire on satire everything. Satire of everything. The like, beautifully written dialogue explains things out, has you know deep plots. Uh, when you make a game like this, I was kind of explaining it to my friend who is kind of a weird kid that thinks that all this stuff is cool. And I mean, not, not to say that it's not or that you're wrong for liking it, but I kind of look at it where I said... What about the movie Fight Club? It's got Club? the Doom fucking font. Did yeah, it does have the Doom font. Bullshit. <laughs> so it, I look at the movie Fight Club and I say, what if Fight Club had only p- scenes of people punching each other in the face? Like, all the fighting scenes, It was the whole movie was just condensed to people fighting each other. Mm-hmm. All the rest of the plot just thrown out, and it was actually just two hours of people beating the shit out of each other. That's kind of what hatred is to me. Mm-hmm. Um, it, does, it says nothing about the satire, nothing about commercialism, nothing about... 
um, it's just personalities, mindless. all that kind of stuff. I mean, granted, there are other, yeah, there's mindless entertainment in a variety of ways. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, to clearly define the game purely by how you kill people, you know, like, even Manhunt wasn't this bad. Like, remember yeah. when Manhunt came out? Everybody flipped. I mean, holy shit. Was that the adults only one? Uh,. Or almost got an adult only? Almost got an adult only. They had to censor it. Right. <laughs> and then uh, the second one, they toned it down so they didn't have to deal with the censorship bullshit. Right. Uh, but yeah, dude, like, it was fucking like, come on, man. But even in, in, in Manhunt, there was a reason to it. I mean, I'm not going to lie and say, like, Manhunt had this amazing story. I don't think it did. I've seen a long play through it already. Like, I didn't play it. I've seen a long play. I've read up on the wikis on it and all that stuff. Um, so I get the, the gist of the story and all that stuff and what happens, and I've seen all the deaths, how you can kill people, and whatever. Yeah, it is a little, like, it's slightly glorified because if you're hiding behind a guy longer, you can get a special kill where you really, really, like, just dig into this guy with whatever weapon that you use. But I feel like in this game, it's, in Manhunt, and, and it's interesting that it's Manhunt because Manhunt did kind of do the same thing mm -hmm. but it, it's the matter of how it was handled differently a lot of manhunt the uh what's it called the uh publicity for it was like they censored it a lot of it They're like oh find out what happens you know and at the end of the day they still censored it yeah. with this it's just like they're just i feel like <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna go out and live and say if this isn't even a game i will be very surprised because everyone's going to know who these guys are yeah and if they never make this a game and they're like oh but here's the game we're actually going to make wouldn't that be something because they're at the end of the day they're just trying to send a message because yeah. i think they flat out said hey we're going to have you know these games that we want people to recognize aren't getting shown let's do a really fucking graphic ass game where this dude's running around killing people and see who pays attention i think that was like their reasoning behind it and yeah, it's graphic as fuck, and yeah, it is freedom of expression, but at the same time, you really can't compare it to other games as of like right now that are out. Like, mm -hmm. okay, there might be like one or two but that I'm just not like thinking about, like off the top, like, but Manhunt in my head, or maybe like even Postal wasn't that. Well, Postal was pretty. I don't know if you played Postal. Never played him, I know of him. Yeah. Like, I don't really go for. Yeah, I mean, violence. Postal was just open satire, it just wasn't done right. And this, you know, is nothing but, hey, kill the guys and all that stuff. I mean, look at the, how the character is dressed and all that other stuff. It's, it implies a certain kind of background to the person. You know, yeah. he's a social outcast who's just, like, fed up with the world or stuff like that. And he has nothing to lose and he just wants to kill people. You know, he's right. always brooding. It, everything's in black and white, at least for now, anyway. Yeah, it's always in black and white. Yeah. Except the blood, I think, is in red. Yeah, to emphasize the violence. Imagine that. So, you know, of course, people are like, oh, hey, this is, you know, they're drawing the, um, what's it called, to these specific like things. Parallels to it. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, again, I think we've kind of said it, but I, I applaud their ability to do it. I would fight, I would defend to the death the right to show it. But at the same time, I have no personal interest in it. It looks like a really terrible game. It, it just looks like uh, Smash TV. Yeah, just mindless. Yeah. Well, I mean, not that Smash TV was Smash, bad, but it's... It was an arcade game. Today we have mechanics that are well beyond any of that. So, yeah. that's all I gotta say about it. Fucking whatever. We'll see what happens. Obviously, it's brewing a media shitstorm, and people are gonna know who these guys are, but we'll see if it backfires on them. So, they are guinea pigs in the world of gaming. Well, I'm Spencer. And I'm still your wet dream. Ooh. And this is The Edge. Thanks for watching. Got you, huh? Yeah. Right there in yeah. the paint. Are you, are you still watching? Good? Yeah. Keep watching. Keep watching. Look at me, do same. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Swear to me! <laughs> <laughs>